Hi guys, welcome to Chris Ryan Golf. You've joined me at the Belfry again today. We are in the PJ National Golf Academy. And in this video, we're gonna give you three keys to hit your long irons better. So I'm just gonna give you three things that you can focus on when hitting the longer irons, which are hopefully gonna get you to have a little bit more success with these clubs. Long irons are very, very difficult to use. And so this day and age, many, many people don't even carry them. They tend to carry sort of the hybrids, uh, maybe even some, some high lofty woods like a seven wood. But often golfers do have, you know, maybe five iron, maybe four iron, and they tend to really struggle with them. So we're going to go through, as I say, some key points that we need to focus on, which is going to help us hit these shots correctly. Focusing on those three things is going to give you a little bit more direction when you go and practice them, and hopefully it's not going to be overly complicated. We're not going to go through too many technical things in this video. It's just the things you can think about when you're playing these shots. So I've got a four iron here, um, which will certainly be classed as a long guy, and I guess we sort of look at anything lower than a six, so five, four, uh, three if you carry it, uh, two irons, some of you so will may have those in your bag. Um, but certainly these golf clubs that we tend to fear, generally because the clubs are a little bit longer and the loft tends to get a little bit less. So, point number one would be to play the ball about two thirds up in the stance. So as I take my address to the camera there, you can see hopefully the ball is certainly forward of center. So it's a little bit close to my lead foot, but it's not quite up where maybe the driver or the fairways would be, not quite up off that front heel. So I'd say it's about two thirds forward. From there, that's gonna give us, hopefully, some, some better impact conditions with the golf club. So the first point would be, make sure that golf ball is slightly forward of center in the stance, about two thirds you know, up closer to your lead foot. The second point would be to try and focus a little bit more after the golf ball, and also trying to feel that we finish very much towards the target with as much weight as we can on this lead leg. Many golfers tend to play these long irons, see the lower loft, so in this case with the four right, it's about 24 degrees, um, and tend to fear the fact that the ball's not gonna get airborne. So what they'll often do is they'll often move the ball too far forward in the stance, but we've, we've already covered that, and then they would tend to leave a little bit too much weight on the back leg, believing that this is gonna help them get that ball higher into the air. Anytime we have too much weight back, we are generally gonna find that the contact point can be middle this way, but it often gets quite low in the golf club, so maybe the first couple of grooves. Now, what's gonna happen if we make contact with the bottom of the golf club is, as we make contact with the ball, there's gonna be a little bit of gear effect where the club head sort of reacts to the contact, and that will deal off the golf club, and that ball will launch very, very low. So certainly with these longer irons, hitting the ball lower than the center, or lower than the sweet spot, I should say, is gonna give you very, very low shots and they're often gonna hit the ground too soon. And those golfers often tell us that the four iron doesn't necessarily go much further than the five and the five in turn doesn't go much further than the six. So what we need to do with these irons is ensure that the contact is middle, heel to toe, that's important, but it's also quite high up the golf club here. So it's about four or five grooves up the club face. The only way we're gonna do that is if we have an impact our weight forward and our hands a little bit forward. That's gonna help us make a slightly descending blow and that's gonna allow us to strike a little bit higher in the club face. So just making sure that in the swing, we are still focusing on making a shift into our lead side and we're still focusing on making contact with the ground after the golf ball. If we can do that, that's gonna help us achieve that contact that we just mentioned there. So you've got the first two points there, you've got ball slightly forward in the stance and you've got really focusing on still making this swing with a descending hit, getting that weight forward and finishing fully on your left hand side. Well, the lead side, in my case, it's left hand side. The final point is one which is maybe a little bit controversial and it's maybe against what many people have told you. I want you to try and make quite an aggressive swing here. I want you to try and put a fair bit of speed into this goal swing. We have got a club here with a lot lower loft. This ball is gonna launch significantly lower than it would obviously with a five, with a six. When we have that ball launching lower, we need to increase the speed that the golf ball has in order for us to get any kind of flight on it. If we don't have much speed, then these clubs are not gonna go longer than I say a five or a six iron because it simply doesn't work. If we launch it lower with lower speed, we don't get the carry. So really, it is really, really important that we actually create some swing speed and when we make contact with that ball, we, we impart some more power through it and we get a little bit more speed in that golf ball. So certainly if I was to take my starting position here and make what would be classed as a pretty decent swing but a very, very slow speed, that ball's not gonna get any airtime. It's launched so low that it just hit the ground after about 60 yards. So as I say, it's a little bit more controversial 
most people are telling golfers to sort of slow the swing down and smooth it down. In some shots, that's going to work. You know, slowing the swing down, putting a bit more tempo in it might help you. But with these long irons, to hit them well and to actually get the most out of them, we need some speed. And that's kind of more down to physics than anything else. We don't necessarily need to change the mechanics of our golf swing, but we do have to change some things that happen to impact and having a little bit more speed in the golf ball is going to be one of those, one of those points. So, setup. Ball's got a little bit more forward. You're going to make sure you have more weight forward at impact. Still trying to hit a little bit down. Don't lean back. And you're going to make quite an aggressive swing through. We want plenty of speed. That's going to really, really help you. It's going to give you the height that you need from these clubs. So let me go ahead and hit one. So I've got a four iron here. So I've got my ball, say, about two thirds forward. I'm going to have a little bit of focus, about two to three inches in front of the ball. And I'm going to try and put a little bit of speed into this swing and see if we can get that ball flying as we want it. Okay, pretty happy with that. Maybe a little bit lower than I would expect, but it felt out the middle, but I certainly that tells me I actually got a little bit more weight forward, but the flight there was absolutely fine for a four, right? it wasn't too low, the carry looked about right, and I would be pretty happy with that on the golf course. So just focus on those three things. If you remember those three things, you're hopefully gonna hit these a lot, lot better. A lot of golfers do come to me and say things like, I'm really struggling with my long irons, can we have a look at those? And, and really, we can do, but there's nothing technically that you do, with, you do different with these clubs, because you can hit your seven iron, then we need to take that same swing over to the long irons. We just have to maybe tweak the setup a little bit, maybe change what the golfers are sort of trying to do, their sort of perception of what they're trying to do, and maybe just you know, educate them a little bit in actually how these clubs work and what we actually need to get these, these golf balls flying better through the air. The two key points there, I would say, strike point and the speed. If we can get the strike higher in the face and we can have a little bit more speed in the golf ball, you should find that the ball flies a bit higher and the distance is there, uh, therefore reflected in that. Okay, so hopefully you remember those three points. You won't fear those long, long irons as much as you do now, uh, and hopefully when you're you know, on those long par fours and those par fives, you'll, you'll hit better shots, and hopefully your score will reflect that. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Um, if you liked it, then click the like button down below. If you've got any comments, please post those in the boxes as well. I'll do my best to respond to as many as I can. And if you haven't done it already, then please click the subscribe button as well. That's going to get you first access to my videos, and you'll just make sure that you don't miss any of the content. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again next time.